Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Yodel, and I'm checking out more Gotcha Man crowds. Uh, episode 3, shout out to Skeleton for requesting these reactions once again. Thank you very much. Uh, last time, and thank you to Mero for pointing this out. I believe it was you. Let me make sure. Yes, that the blonde wig uh, lady at the end of last episode had a Gotcha Man uh, style notebook. I did not notice that shit at all. I was more like, what app is evil? <laughs> I didn't even see that shit, but... Yeah, I guess she was, that's what she was holding, but I, I didn't even notice that shit at all. Maybe an ex-member of the Gacha Man or something. I mean, they would have to be, right? For them to kind of be operating like this, but not be, never be at HQ, like never been mentioned or heard of really, so. And I, I guess maybe they're in the inventor of this app as well, and whatever maybe malicious intent is behind that, I don't know. Because during that, we were just hearing a bunch of like stats about how well the app is doing, right? And we saw an example of like people using the app and like nurses nearby coming to help the people that Powerpuff Girl looking lady uh, pushed the people down the stairs. She like whipped them with something and she was like delicious and then they fell, which is weird because for her to say that, it's like, what exactly did she do, do to them? Was it just knocking them down just to sow that chaos in that moment to like make that happen? Maybe to facilitate like the use of the app there or something. I don't know. Is it that deep as far as that? Or is she just out here eating? You know, because she ate that one guy or she kissed the shit out of him and then basically copied his appearance. I don't know if I'd call that eating. It's more like Kirby, right? So would you say Kirby eats? Kirby sucks. She sucked that dude's face and basically became Kirby. And then she like acting crazy as the guy and then knocked people down the stairs. I don't know, very strange. And then we have the whole thing with the app there. But yeah, the nurses came and they were like, yeah, no, don't call an ambulance. But I think in this case, yeah, it was more so speaking to like, oh, this app is so great. You know, nurses can just come here and, you know, boom. We don't need our healthcare. We need the app, right? So uh, maybe we'll see because we saw earlier in the episode, Hajime and our boy, uh, well, Hajime introduced the app to our boy and take him to the, yeah, the collaging thing on the train and meeting all the people and stuff and finding out more about her, seeing like how... Not only influential she is, but just like how she connects with people, right? And she wants people to be connected. She wants people to like uh, experience those kinds of fun things together and I guess be able to live a, a good life like that, you know? And I think uh, the guy even mentioned, or the mayor, or the I think it was the mayor, right? Mentioned that she, because we also heard about her family as well, which you we don't know the significance of. I think they're just maybe important people. I don't know as far as politics or maybe activism or whatever it is. You know, maybe she takes after her parents in that way. But that they also I think that she sends relief to disaster zones or I forget exactly how they said it or like what exactly she does for them but like that she helps in that way which is like damn you know yeah a lot more insight into her especially seeing her uh more perceptive like towards people like she we've seen her be super ditzy in the first episode and she was just like excited and rolling with everything but when it came down to like understanding not only like um our boy here which I don't know why his name is slipping uh my mind our blonde, stoic, paladin boy of the Gacha Man. Clearly gone through some shit. Um, not only understanding him and kind of breaking him down, but also the mess. Even like befriending the mess. That shit happened on episode two. I was not expecting that. Like we already saw signs of that, I guess, before once we learned that how the mess responded to her scissors, like mimicking her and like communicating in that like not hostile way. She let him go, which took me a while to understand based on some of the dialogue. But once I realized, uh, finally understood that, I was like, okay, so I guess kind of sowing the seed there of like her like understanding them and, and kind of figuring out maybe who's the true enemy and whatnot. But that should have an episode two and they're like, well, I guess the mess is not so bad. So what's the deal? And we saw a red hair lady, right? So we'll probably see more of her, more of like whoever this wig wearing lady is, who is also watching over the scene while they were using the app with the hurt people, right? So it may be collabing as far as like inflating the use or inciting incidents to make people more dependent on the app or something. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know where this show is going, but all I know is gotcha, man. And it's pretty funny and entertaining. So yeah, we'll see what's next. Let's go. Getting the episode in three, two, one. Collaging. Mess-chan. Whoa. Wait. Did she, did she like single-handedly stop the mess thing? Oh my god. <laughs> the cat. 
Case closed. So, yeah, they were hella using the mess. Pai Pai is not satisfied. <laughs> we still need the true enemy. Oh my god. Shout out to Hajime, just solving that shit. Yeah, and Eli can't believe it. She's too good, man. She's too good. Promote her to, like, captain or something. Oh my god. Messy chan. She's doing it. That's how she did it. Uh, OD is posing. Ah, the movement of the scissors. She's really fucking smart. Really intuitive. Hmm. Just like the notes between them. Makes sense. Must be. Sexy, huh? <laughs> Pi Pi, come on. They haven't been able to. <laughs> Get bodied by a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Alien just like you, dude. We're all just life forms. I guess not. Didn't realize. They were manipulated. Damn. Like the mess are that advanced. Maybe. Maybe that was what it was. Rocks. Wow. Just no one tried. Like, hey, dude, we're alive down here. A waste. <laughs> Harsh, but spot on. Oh, did save people. Damn. Poor Pai Pai. Lots to live up to. Now this is happening. <laughs> Pai Pai is too cute, man. And I don't know what's the deal with this girl. She's gloomy. That's all we know. Hey. Pretty, uh, Rose. Oh, shit. Hajime, man. Not even just her challenging ideas. She's just single-handedly just... Solving the whole thing here. By, by drinking beer. So yeah, I think this just plays into JJ's prophecy. And it might not be crazy hair lady here. It might be wig lady who's the true enemy. I don't know. We'll see. Probably her. It's probably wig lady. Ooh. Was that a gotcha man? Was that someone's gotcha man? And OD, oh my god, if OD transforms one day, that's gotta happen. And that person there, I don't think we've met. The glasses. All right. My favorite design is just pie, pie, pie. Baby. You guys are playing second life in this shit. Ugh. 
They're probably just actually talking about things happening in the neighborhood. X. Who's X? Oh, we see X at the bottom, and we saw it in the intro as well. The creator? Oh, it's like Alexa. Oh, it's the AI we heard talking at the end of last episode. X. There's the baby she was talking about. Damn. Instantly. That's crazy. Oh. Is that wig girl? Galaxter. Uh, little wordplay. A tech. It's taking over. You can manage the trolls. She's everywhere out in the field. Why was I saying pink? It's like, yeah, it's like blonde. I think the lighting threw me off. Yeah, it's the lighting. So she's seeing the results for herself. X. Yep. Yeah, looks. Rui, that's right. Yes. Her parent. My lord. Okay, I'm back. I had to pause. Decline in job seekers. The economy. Relying on Galax. They can contact directly. I, yeah. That's true. Uh, so we're really getting a sense of like... Hmm. No memory. All oh, right, because of the gotcha man activities. They just realize. Man, because they're really monitoring everything. And I was going to say earlier, you know. Who is the true enemy? That's the question. Ah. You're the one we've been seeing in the opening. And I was going to say earlier, like, maybe I shouldn't have assumed that they were a lady, you know? But I don't know. Rui Rui. Oh, shit. Gave them power. You gave 100 Galaxters power? Huh? Okay. What the hell? Who was talking to them? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, man, are they driving away from something? She's, man, she always gives the benefit of the doubt. Could be. You never know.
Yeah, for sure. It's less frustrating. Easier to let it go. I agree with that. Just like, damn, that was an asshole move, but uh, maybe they had a good reason. You know, just move on. Kamano Chome. Oh, this is just, it's just part of the, the lesson. Not the milk. Damn. Okay, I'm back. So I had to pause again. I'm babysitting right now. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Gross. Okay. This is so strange what's going on. I feel like we were introduced to so much there with Rui. And now this milk fiasco. What is going on? Whoa. -oh. The milk's not safe. It's like when Bluebell ice cream was just like, don't eat it. There's lead inside it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh my god, she's really like getting on it. <laughs> she's just like, we gotta get this milk now. Wait, why are you here? I guess, yeah, I guess it makes sense she goes to school too. Why are you so gloomy? At least she dresses appropriately here. God. Oh, goodness. It's true, but this is like... Gotcha, man. See, this is all part of like... X told us. Galax. This is like another like social experiment to see how effective it is. It seemed like X like just gathered the data and they were just like... Maybe gauging the reaction. A game, just like they said. Decoy. Okay. Use your sword and mess around. <laughs> You're a gotcha man. Start acting like it. <laughs> She's really taking on her role. Very impulsive. Hmm. Not out of control for no reason. But yeah. Pulling the hero card. <laughs> Reputation be damned. Oh shit. <laughs> Stealth 100. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> They're just like appalled. <laughs> oh god. Jesus. I was fucked up. Oh. The Galax supporters. <laughs> Save that kid's life. From that gross milk. That was left out at room temperature. Crisis averted. Gotcha, man. This is, like, too much. Oh, my God. Slash. For the camera. He's just like, okay. Woo. 
Oh, damn. Oh, good shit. Strunk. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't like this Galax thing, man. That is so weird. Mission complete. Casualties. Yeah, that's some fucked up quality control. Yeah, so it was a social experiment. Makes sense. Not everyone's just going to jump off the wall once they see that. Adverse effects of a vertical society. This is so... Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of people like that. Man. I really want to know more about Rui and their whole thing. And maybe their ultimate goal with Galax. I guess that last part was a kind of clue into that. Yeah, dude. Get with the times. As sus as it's becoming. True. Damn, Hajime gets it. God damn. <laughs> wow. This girl's great. The balance. Oh, come on, Al. <laughs> Oh, cat behavior. Cute. Little owl. Red, what's the, yeah, what's this red paper? Is it a threat? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can maybe get her out of her gloomy shell. Little piece of red paper for collaging later. Oh. <laughs> All right, maybe Hajime will break through to her too. I like OD too. Fight a cast of characters. Yeah, what's going on here? Rescue requests. Ah. Oh. God damn. Okay. Whoa. I'm gonna stab the gym teacher. I'm gonna threaten him? You dumb motherfucker. Oh. Bro, who is this lady? Yeah, those things there. Oh, God. It's like the best and worst thing that's ever happened to him. <laughs> In the end, you just kiss yourself. Goodbye. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, because she's running around as... Oh, my God. Fucking yikes. Judo throw. <laughs> Good job. Jesus. Fucking goober ass cops. And he gets. Oh my god. Just chaos, just like framing people. What's like her goal? I, like, why? Gotcha. Oh, there she be. Yeah, what is your deal? 
Oh no. All right, we're going to see him in action now. And then the gondola's here. Number 58. Usage permission for the power. They're one of the hundred, right? With the power. So what's this power? Yeah, let's see. Is it the gotcha man thing? Oh shit, the blonde wig is out. Hmm, you got to use it. The crowds. So what's the crowds? I've been wondering what that part is meant. We only heard gotcha, man. Only gotcha. So is crowds the other side of it? Like the dark side, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Whoa. Crowds. Play the game. Oh, come on. The crowds. And we saw how they looked. So that's like that power. And I guess Rui can give that power. And before we saw them, I guess with the Gacha Man style notebook, maybe that was, that's a crowds notebook. But what does that mean? I mean, it doesn't have to be a crowds notebook, but what does the crowds thing even mean at all? Damn it. I guess we'll find out next time. Maybe. That's the thing with a lot that we've seen with Rui this episode. It's just like, huh. Okay, like, I see what you're doing. You're like, things are happening, and you're kind of using it to gather data about Galax and people who trust it, people who take action based on the information from Galax, and who, yeah, you know, so. But what's the end goal? Like, measuring trust in Galax and people's dependency on it. It's pretty high, but. And then you tie in the power. Maybe Rui just wants to control that much. I don't know. Yeah, Rui is pretty interesting. I'm not sure what to think as far as, like, what their goal might be. As far as, like, Galaxy itself is, like, fine. It's, like, a great app, right? It's a pretty fucking good app, you know, as far as, like, connecting people and, like, instantly, you know? Like, people around you and they're pretty good at, I guess, at vetting people and, you know, trolls and all that. Which is, <laughs> you know, people would still find a way, realistically. But, but it's pretty good. But that's like the problem. It's too good. There's a lot of dependency on it. Uh, Rui and X. It's clearly they're like the creators, right? Or Rui is, I should say, probably. They're like, yeah, they're measuring like responses to like crisis, different crises and incidents that happen from the milk thing to like the gondola thing. And uh, But actually being pretty active, they're almost like their own gacha men, except they're crowds. So gacha men crowds, I guess those are the two sides of maybe this power because we saw them with a notebook before or uh marrow you pointed that out but what does that mean it's something different than the gotcha men and but the way they're operating is so strange and interesting like with galax and maybe rui just wants that control or just to be to be able to monitor different situations and deploy if need be like to kind of help these situations and we saw the way rui was talking about people who are selfish and don't want to help other people or don't want to help you unless you like do something for them which is like yeah you know that shit is true like the stuff Rui was saying so you so it's not as like sinister as I thought with Rui it, it's just kind of weird because I don't know maybe I'm just too used to like the trope of like oh technology ooh this technology ooh this technology right and before it's like it's horribly wrong you know and even without that you still just kind of get a weird sense of it but it's not like so bad you know even with the data with like job seekers not seeking employment i guess they're talking about the economy and everything maybe i think re was talking about that statistic was based on like through i guess maybe staffing agencies and like galax was allowing them to just connect directly with employers maybe i misunderstood that but yeah so it's it's pretty helpful on multiple fronts like for just like communicating, for uh, job seeking, for uh, identifying different crises and even deploying one of the hundred that I guess have the crowd's power that Rui was able to bestow. So is Rui like a Lord JJ? I don't know, so maybe something like that? Because yeah, to be able to give a power like that, you, ha you would have to be like, like that, no? Like why can Rui do that? Because before, you never really get the sense that like Rui is like an 
alien or something just because i feel like in this show the design of like who's not human is like pretty clear though that could be wrong as well i'm probably like for example like green hair girl she, i don't know if she's human i don't think she is i think there was a part in the first episode where we saw like multiple of her or something but i'm sure there's like plenty of humanoid looking like aliens even like the red hair lady i'm pretty sure like of course with her fucking weird ass power uh, men in black need to get on her ass for sure but she's about to fight our boy over here so we're gonna see what he can do because she's just now causing chaos and i don't know if she's like part of the plan you know of like because before when i was saying okay galax doesn't seem so bad but i don't know if like maybe she is like working with them to sow these incidents and like stoke more dependency on it but that wasn't even that you know that she just copied the kid did some fucked up shit and then ooh, phone's ringing yeah i think she's just causing chaos because she's fucked up or something yeah she might just be her own uh her own faction of things i don't know but mess oh my god finding out hajime just straight up befriended the mess just like yeah that's messy chan and they're like oh and pai pai's like what we've been doing was for nothing like of course not right they've helped a bunch of people but the fact that she did that and can like communicate with the mess through like its shape changing abilities like initially with the scissors and like, kind of bridging the gap there to the point where the whole hive mind just like stopped you know and i guess uh and showing the perspective like oh yeah they've probably that they just didn't uh recognize us as more than ants before just like how oh, you're walking through grass you're probably stepping on a bunch of bugs you know they were just existing here just kind of was probably just like eating to them or just existing here they never uh, realize that i guess no one of course has tried to communicate with them because they've been you know fucking eating people so maybe it's as simple as that that no one's like controlling them or manipulating them because like their own they're like their own hive mind or whatever but it's de definitely been like a cover for like the true enemy right because it's clearly not them and we you know we've been able to tell that since uh what lord jj said right man it just shows hajime like and we saw our boy was just like staring at her and um you know what she said later you know even as much as she loves uh the galax app and everything it's just like don't like what she say like don't trust the internet too much or like however she said it just like don't put too much like stock into it you know because like when your phone dies when your signal runs out like that's it don't rely on that shit too much like dude she gets it and i think um i think you left a comment someone left a comment last time yeah ishin how hajime is like the anti-twitter user <laughs> Free of judgmental feelings, open to new ideas. I mean, Twitter is just like a bad platform for that shit in general. Like, you type like three sentences on there. Like, there's no context like for anything. Unless you're just being like a awful piece of shit, then that's just on you. But yeah, yeah, Hajime is, is great. She's like definitely good ass like person. And she's just like super, just really likable, man. Like she like gets it. She's very intuitive. She's just like very empathetic to people. She's like, oh. Yeah, that what they did was fucked up. You know, we almost died into getting hit by a car, but like maybe they're in a hurry. Maybe their wife went into labor. Or like maybe there's an emergency. It's like that's true. That's something I do. Um, I should do it more, but that's something I definitely think about sometimes. Where it's like, well, yeah, that, that was fucked up, but it maybe had a good reason. That's, that's really how I have to think when I drive, because where I live, it's just a bunch of crazy drivers. Maybe that's just more the co the culture for me, but but definitely some people like. Maybe they're late to work, which isn't like the best reason to endanger everyone's life around you. But yeah, she has good uh, perspective, good empathy and everything. It's cool. And the fact that she was like jumping on it right away with the milk was just so silly. I was like, what? Yeah, that's I mean, yeah, it's fucked up because like to leave milk out like that and then to ship it out. Like that's pretty fucking gross. And yeah, people would get sick from that shit. Um, it's good that there was no casualties, I think is what they said. Yeah, that's good. They got in big trouble for that, that poor, very poor quality control. Yeah, but Hajime, dude, and the fact that she got her boy in on it too, it's like, be the decoy, it's like, you know, go crazy, and he did it. I like that he's opening up more to her, and the, and even being like, the internet, uh, it's not so bad, you know, but also, like, her showing that, like, moderation side of it as well. He's great, dude, she should, man, she should just be the leader. Pai Pai, step aside, you can be the mascot. Pai Pai is cool, I like Pai Pai a lot, dude, he's still, like, my favorite design in the show, he is so funny. He's just constant incredulousness at Hajime, just, what? Uh, just like hitting a wall or some shit so silly but he's great but yeah that, i think that's it for this one like as far as rui yeah just a lot of questions there about them as far as like where they're where they got their power what is crowns how can they give that power what is like their really big goal i mean we get some more insight into them and you know they're not so bad right as far as what uh rui and x are doing but 
you know, it's, yeah, it's very interesting. We'll see what's up next time. And in the midst of like, you know, Hajime connecting more people, connecting with Gloomy Girl more as well. Yeah, she's really the glue that's kind of like pulling everything together. It's not what that means. Holding everything together. But she's like, connect. I don't know. That's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to SC9870 for requesting these reactions once again. And uh, if you have any thoughts, feel free to share. Yeah, that's it. See you next time. Peace.